hi guys so in this video we're gonna start learning context so in here in our structure folder as you can see that i have created one class learn context and inside it i have rendered one child component called button wrapper and inside this button wrapper i have two another child component that is button and button two and it simply is rendering a functional component button 2 and another one is class component so why I have uh, done this uh, we will see later so right now we are talking about this context right so basically context is same thing as a props but what happens that for using props you are going to send the props from here that will be sent to this button and such that we can access that props in here but this is called like a drilling like uh, this button wrapper doesn't need any props in here but you have to provide if you are using this props method right now there is one way that you can do that is context that we're gonna learn and why we should use context is that uh, in what most of cases what happens that the same data is to be used in various uh, you can say level of a react component tree maybe uh, may, yeah maybe in various places you have to use so that's why we are going to look into it in here so there are apis uh, context apis that we need to use so first of all that I'm going to do something in here is basically you can use for class component also and functional component also but I'm just demonstrating it with class component okay the so first of all we need is to create the context right like create a um, you can say store or uh, initial values you can say yeah initial value you can say now in here first of all what I'm going to demonstrate is that basically we are going to achieve a theme rendering that means whenever you click on a button it will change your background of this screen okay now first of all we are going to start with uh, like simple such that we can know all the apis that we need to understand for using context now let's start with that first of all what we need we need we are going to create uh, our own provider our own react component in here so that's why we are going to give name as a capital first letter is capital in here so in here we what we need is react and we have this create context in here so right now it's need any default value that you want to give uh, actually default value we needed in here like suppose that if it is a child component this uh, uh, button wrapper is a child component and before that it doesn't have any thing to provide something okay so it will take the value from here so right now i'm just going to give a man like hard coded value that is light now next what i'm going to do is creating a provider okay so how can we do that so after using this theme context in a jsx syntax there is three things that we get is consumer provider and display name so so what we need is this provider so it's the same thing that we have learned uh, in our redux right a provider right so that's what we are using in here that that is this is a wrapper that uh, provides or yeah provides another child component the value that we want to give so it has a props called value and inside this value i'm just going to give a name or a, just a hard coded name that is dark now that's it that's what we need in here so basically what we want to achieve in here is that we want to get this dark value in this button 2.js in this button js without using props okay we can use props but uh, 
we are learning actually of course context so we're gonna see it how can we do that so first we will go to this class component so for achieving it what we have there are two methods in class so first one is this static static and we got this context type in here okay and it will be assigned by this theme context that we have written in here so actually we haven't imported it from this learn context and it will give a warning in here if you just export in here and just import it import in here button.js so what i'm going to create in here in our learn context i'm just going to create a new file called context file okay context file.js now in here you may have many uh, context so you can create your own file in here so go to your learn context and i'm just going to just copy paste it here and go to your context file export it and also we have to import this import react from react now what we have to do i'm just going to close it now you go to the learn context.js and we have to again import it right so let's import it yeah so we are using this provider now go to your context file.js no sorry uh, go to your button.js and now you just import it you got this value now let's console and what we are going to console it is this this dot we have seen that we have these things like props context state so let's just use this this dot context now just open your console in here yeah so we got this dark right so we haven't used anything just uh, we have created a context in here oh okay we have created in here context file and we have just provided the theme context of provider in here and giving some values and we have just consumed the data we have consumed the data in our button class using this okay now another thing we are going to see in our button 2.js that how can we achieve the same thing that we have achieved in button.js but actually it works differently in here so what we need in here is we need again the same thing that is theme context but in here we need this consumer oh sorry what we need in is here in consumer and just wrap it up okay just wrapping it wrapping it up now again what we need in here we have to give this curly braces in here and inside this curly braces we can give any argument that you want to give like value you can give any argument that you want now in here you just have to give this button and just render it here like this and just removing it that we don't need it yeah as you can see here we got this dark okay so in this video what we have learned we have learned providers create context consumer for this functional component in our class component we have learned this context type and uh, which uh, is being assigned with this theme context and using this dot context and that's how we have learned all the apis for co context concept now in the next video we're gonna see more how can we like uh, how can we change the background of it using context api 
Oh, sorry, just context concept. Yeah, that's all. Thanks.